After testing the VLSR SAM missile from Rajput class destroyer, the DRDO is refurbishing another naval ship for carrying VLSR SAM missile test. Azerbaijan Foreign Minister has said that Azerbaijan is closely following the process of weapons purchase and sale between Armenia and India. IIT Delhi and French firm Ernia have partnered to work on underwater target tracking algorithm. Ukraine has started testing its Kikato Airborne Electronic Intelligence System that can detect S-400 air defense system radio electronic protection mechanisms and fighter jets. After Ukrainian armed forces were spotted using 155mm ammunition which have very close resemblance to Indian ammunition, experts have said that India had recently exported 155mm ammunition to few customers, and it is possible that a third party or a shell corporation could have indirectly exported them to Ukraine. Indian firm Bearava Robotics has unveiled its robotic arm quadruped unmanned ground vehicle known as Shvana. Its design and mechanical integration has been completed, and electronic integration is currently in progress. The former Air Chief Retired Air Marshal RKS Pidharia has said that the Tejas Mark II program is necessary, as it is a crucial link to future projects like AMCA. While talking about the AMCA program, he said that certain fifth-generation technologies needs to be established in terms of confirmatory tests, and both AMCA and Tejas Mark II program needs to be pushed simultaneously. He expressed confidence that the AMCA will be nearly completing IOC certification in the next 10 years, and will have some technologies bordering 6th generation aircraft. He also expressed the need to incorporate newer technologies like airborne directed energy weapon, next generation sensor data fusion, advanced electronic countermeasures and manned unmanned teaming. The Indian Air Force is carrying out extensive tests on the airframe and other parts of Su-30 aircraft, in order to extend the service life of its Su-30 fighter jets by more than 20 years. Hindustan Aeronautics Bharat Electronics and Midani Group are also carrying out certification of the AL-31F engine with indigenous components that will improve its performance and will also last much longer. The final configuration of the new indigenous advanced gallium nitride-based V Rupaksa radar for Su-30 aircraft is also being finalized, that will be ready for full-scale production by end of 2025. With the TAPAS drone program removed from mission mode programs, the Defense Ministry is now planning to procure male UAVs from private sector companies. At least two private sector companies have expressed interest in developing an indigenous male UAV, and has sought ministry's support in terms of funding, and technology transfer from the TAPAS program. Indian Army and Navy have placed small orders for Hermes 900 Starliner, and although Adani Defense claims 60% indigenization, but reports suggest a heavy reliance on imported components from the Israeli company. Today's Top 3 Comments 